receiving less attention than the major prophets are the writings of another group of God's messengers who also warn the erring nations of Israel and Judah of impending judgment and destruction. These writings span the time of the kings to the return of the remnant during the days of Ezra and Nehemiah. In this video, we'll examine the minor prophets. There are 12 of these books, beginning with Hosea and ending with the writing of the prophet Malachi. These are referred to as the minor prophets due to the fact that their content is shorter than the major prophets. Although shorter in length, they're no less important than the major prophets and provide valuable insights into the state of Israel and Judah. The minor prophets also reveal God's judgment against other nations. The work of these prophets spans the period of the kings of both the northern and southern kingdoms. Messianic references can be found in these volumes, which are evidence of divine providence and preparation to bring Christ into the world. These books are Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. Let's take a look at each of these. The writing of Hosea is primarily directed toward the northern kingdom of Israel. Directed by God to marry a prostitute who will be unfaithful to him, the Lord then uses this relationship as a figure of the infidelity of Israel. God demonstrates that his desire has been to heal and reunite with the erring nation, but they wouldn't respond and so would be destroyed. Joel's writing was a warning to the southern kingdom of Judah of the destruction to come upon them for their evil. Joel also talks about the restoration of God's blessings in the future and details judgment against the pagan nations as well. Part of Joel's prophecy is quoted by Peter on the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2. Amos is identified as a herdman of Tekoa and a gatherer of sycamore fruit who is called upon to prophesy against the northern kingdom of Israel. Amos also includes a warning to those in Zion or Jerusalem and ends the book with a note about the future restoration of God's people and the Lord's judgment against the nations. Obadiah issues a warning of destruction to the nation of Edom, the descendants of Esau, who failed to aid their brethren in time of calamity and took advantage of their plight. Eventually, Edom was to cease to exist as a nation as a judgment from God. The story of Jonah is probably one of the most well-known of the minor prophets. Commanded by God to warn the Assyrians and Nineveh of the Lord's intent to destroy them, Jonah tries to run away but finds himself in the belly of a great whale for three days. The prophetic significance of this event is revealed in the New Testament. Micah's prophecy is directed to the capitals of the northern and southern kingdoms. Samaria and Jerusalem are both condemned for the evil that exists in them and are warned about the coming judgment from God. The book foretells of the future kingdom God will establish and details the birthplace of the coming Messiah. The book of Nahum tells of God's judgment against the Assyrians for their evil and pride. This book, along with Obadiah, is evidence that God is involved in the affairs of all nations. Habakkuk writes about the evil that he sees in the southern kingdom and expresses concern that the righteous are persecuted without divine intervention. God reveals that there is a judgment coming, and the prophet prays for the Lord to resume his great work in the future. Habakkuk determines to remain faithful to the Lord no matter what happens. Zephaniah writes during the reign of King Josiah, and tells of God's coming judgment on Judah, the southern kingdom. The book ends with a promise of restoration of the relationship with God in a remnant that will be faithful. Haggai delivers God's message to those who have returned from Babylonian captivity and were charged to rebuild the temple. The people are rebuked for neglecting God's house to rebuild their own homes, pursuing their personal interests, and ignoring the reason for their return. Haggai, who works during the time of Ezra and Nehemiah, tells of a future house of the Lord that will be greater in glory than the temple built by Solomon. Zechariah writes during the time of Ezra in which the remnant has begun to return and are to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem. Zechariah assures the people that God is with them and speaks of the future of the nation and the coming of the Messiah. The writing of Malachi addresses spiritual neglect that has arisen in Judah once more after the return from Babylonian exile. The prophet addresses the corruption of the priests and failures to keep the law. Malachi tells of events that will precede the appearance of the Messiah. 
In our next video, we'll explore an overview of the New Testament.